Hey guys, watch this video to the end to learn the best technique to pop your image and get a beautiful result using a smart dodge and bond technique in Photoshop. The method is easy and the result is great. With no further ado, let's get started. We are going to go from the start to the end. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to crop the image. So using the 4 by 5 aspect ratio, we are going to crop the image like this. Crop the image. And the next thing we are going to do, we are going to zoom to the face. Take our spot healing brush and remove any obvious pimples on the skin. So with the spot healing brush, all you have to do is just left click on the pimples and it's gone. Just left click like this and it's gone. So that's how to remove the pimples. Just brush over it and it's gone. So we are going to retouch the image now and we are going to use the Auto fix FX action that automatically retouch our image for us. So if you just click on the auto fix FX action, you are going to get this result. Here was the before and here is the after. Before and after. This is already looking nice. But just to make the effect way more impactful, we are going to apply it again. So we are going to flatten this one and now we are going to apply the auto fix FX action again. And this time, is going to smoothen our image even more while retaining the skin texture. This time we are going to create a max so that this effect doesn't over affect the image. So you create a max and you take your brush and you paint over the areas you want this beautiful auto fix FX action effect to be applied on. So you paint like this. And then you paint on the skin, just on the skin area. You have already dressed the hair, the eyes, and the lips. So here was so here was the before, and we are here right now. Just using the auto fix FS action, we have automatically retouched the skin of this beautiful model. If you need the action, check the link in the description. It's just one dollar. You can get it right now. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to go straight into dodging and boning so that we can pop this image and make it look way more amazing, way more three-dimensional. So we are going to create a curves adjustment. And this first curve adjustment, we are going to take it down like this. And now we are going to invert the layer. We are going to invert the layer max so that we remove the effect. We name this bone. Now we create another layer, another cost adjustment layer. This time we take it up like this. Now we invert the layer and we name this dodge. Dodge is for brightening, white bone is for darkening. We are going to use a very easy way to apply this dodge and bone onto the skin of this model. So for the dodge, we are going to take our brush. We are going to make sure our brush is a hard brush. We make sure the opacity is 100 and also the flow is 100. Make sure the foreground is white. Then we are going to resize the brush and we are going to paint over areas like this. Now we want to be bright. We paint over this area. We paint over this area and also this area above the upper lips and below the lower lips right here and also right here on the bone we do the same thing we are going to darken this area and darken this area we are going to darken this area like this i'm going to contour just as easy as this so take a look at what we've gotten we are going to do that also for the breast area like this to make it stand out and also the arms area we are going to also burn just like this the whole process is very easy just draw lines like this on the image now you go to your dodge you come to your properties if you're not seeing properties come to windows and make sure your properties is ticked if you remove it you're not going to see properties like if you untick this property 
is gone and make sure your pro properties is thick so that you can see it back like this so once you get the properties tab you are going to fade out these properties like this and for the dodge for the bone you are also going to do the same thing like this and now we are going to adjust the opacity we are going to reduce the opacity of the dodge we are also going to reduce the opacity of the bone now let's take a look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after it's already looking good but we are not done yet so we just reduce the opacity like this so the next thing we are going to do to make this image pop even more we are going to add glows to this image to the skin so that the skin is going to glow way more than this so to do that we are going to create a layer new layer and we are going to change the blend mode to soft light and now we are going to fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray we are going to click on ok like this we are going to duplicate this layer and now we are going to name this born we are going to name this dodge so while on the dodge we are going to come to channels right now we are not seeing the channels tab so we'll come to window now we'll click on channels to bring up this channels tab so on the channels we are going to click on this selection icon down here you click on it and it's going to set, make the selection for you so on the dodge you take your brush now make sure your brush is a soft round brush reduce the flow to 10 and now you make sure your brush is white so click here to make, make it black and white if it's in another color now make sure it's white now you are going to adjust your brush size and you are going to paint over the selection like this you are going to paint over the selection just like this so you are going to deselect now here was the before and here is the after just take a look at this glue effect here was the before here is the after we are going to go to the bone now come to channels click on channel like this to make the selection again this time we are going to go to select and inverse the selection on the bone make sure the foreground is black this time take your brush and now you are going to paint over these areas to contour them even more just like this So once you're okay, you're going to deselect. And now we can reduce opacity. We can also reduce the opacity of this. You can also add the blend if option to make this blend into the image even more. So you double click on your layer to bring up the layer style. And now you are going to, on the dodge, you are going to split this slider. And you are going to move the slider from the dark area to the light area you do the same thing for the bone you double click you are going to remove it you hold out to split the slider you are going to remove this effect from the bright areas now we can group these two layers together and you can we can name group these two groups together again and we will name it dmb which stands for dodging and burning here was the before and here is the after you can see this method is very easy if you enjoy watching this video please like this video right now and obviously this is ss this is too much so reduce opacity i'm going to the group and reduce individual opacity or even the layers and reduce individual opacity like this i'm not going to over reduce the opacities so that we see how impactful this result is looking so you can take a look at the before and the after the image was flat like this and then the image is now looking this popped don't forget how we got this beautiful skin retouching we use the auto fix fx action with just one dollar you can get this action that will save you time and give you beautiful results so use the auto fix action so to get the auto fix action check the link in the description to get it for just one dollar if you contribute just one dollar to this channel you get this amazing action that is going to save you time and give you beautiful results like this 
So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to whiten the eye and the teeth. And that is very easy to do with the hue saturation adjustment. You target the eye and then you desaturate. You increase the brightness. You invert your layer. And now you take your brush and you paint on the eyes like this to remove the reds in the eye. I paint on the teeth also to remove any dirt. If this is not going fast, you increase the flow. And I paint again to get this beautiful result. So it's very easy, as easy as this. Another thing we can do is to apply lots. So if you create a color lookup, you can load your lots if you have any lots. If you don't have any lots, you can check the link in the description for my lot. I've not shared this particular melanin skin tone lot on this channel, but if you like this video right now and you leave a comment, a fire emoji in the comment, I'm going to share this lot in the next video. So please help grow this free community by liking our video and leaving a comment. Just leave a fire emoji in the comment, wrap your country in the comment. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because we'll be putting out more amazing tip, tricks, and photography tutorials. You can see. Here was a general before, and here is the amazing after. Wow! Just take a look at the skin. All the thin skin texture is retained, and it's just looking amazing. Don't forget, you can always reduce opacity to reduce the effect. But uh, I'm not going to over reduce opacity so that you see how impactful. The result looks. I'm happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.